Everyone, welcome to Star Academy. Let's understand today what is a formative evaluation and what is summative evaluation. First of all, we will define evaluation and then we will discuss formative and summative evaluation in detail. This presentation aims to provide educators with a clear understanding of formative and summative evaluations. By distinguishing these two types of assessment, teachers can effectively enhance students' learning and measure educational outcomes. So, what is evaluation? Evaluation is a systematic process to determine the value, worth, and significance of an educational program, process, or product. Evaluation is crucial in education as it helps in making informed decisions about student progress, curriculum effectiveness, and overall educational quality. It involves collecting and analyzing data to improve teaching and learning. Now let us discuss what is formative evaluation. Formative evaluation is an ongoing process that takes place during the learning experience. It aims to monitor student learning and provide ongoing feedback. The primary goal of formative evaluation is to improve student learning by identifying strengths and weaknesses, enabling teachers to adjust their instructional strategies accordingly. This type of assessment is often informal and include quiz, observation, and interactive class activities. Some key characteristics of formative evaluation. There are some key characteristics of formative evaluation like it is ongoing and continuous, informal and flexible, diagnostic and perspective, student-centered. Formative evaluation is characterized by its continuous nature and flexibility, allowing teachers to adapt to students' needs in real time. It focuses on diagnostic learning gaps and prescribing targeted intervention, fostering a student-centered learning environment. Let's see some examples to make the concept of formative evaluation more clear. Examples of formative evaluation, quiz and mini-test, classroom discussions, peer reviews, homework assignments. These examples illustrate how formative evaluation can be integrated into everyday classroom activities. By using these methods, teachers can gather immediate feedback on student understanding and make necessary adjustments to their teaching strategies. Moving to the second part of our presentation, and that is summative evaluation. The question arises, what is summative evaluation? Summative evaluation occurs at the end of an instructional period aiming to assess the overall effectiveness of the learning experience. Summative evaluation provides a comprehensive overview of what students have learned over a specific period. It helps in determining whether educational goals and standards have been met often culminating in grades or scores that reflect students' achievement. Key characteristics of summative evaluation are conducted at the end of a learning period, it is formal and structured, evaluative and judgmental, and teacher-centered. Summative evaluation is typically formal and structured, focusing on evaluating student performance against predefined criteria. It often results in a final judgment about student learning, such as grades, 
or certifications and is primarily teacher centered. Examples of summative evaluations are final exams, standardized tests, end of term projects, and portfolios. Now let us compare formative evaluation and summative evaluation. The timing of formative evaluation is it is ongoing or during the session. And summative evaluation is at the end of a period or session. The purpose of formative evaluation is improvement and the purpose of summative evaluation is judgment. Formative evaluation is informal and summative evaluation is formal. The focus of formative evaluation is progress of the student. Focus of the summative evaluation is student outcome. This comparison underscores the distinct purposes and characteristic of formative and summative evaluations. Understanding these differences helps teachers effectively use both types of evaluation to support student learning and measure educational success. Integrating both evaluation, integrating formative and summative evaluation, effective teaching involves using both formative and summative evaluation to enhance and measure student learning. Integrating formative and summative evaluation allows teachers to provide continuous feedback and make necessary instructional adjustment while also assessing the overall achievement of educational goals. This balanced approach ensures a comprehensive understanding of student progress and performance. At the end, let us conclude discussion. Understanding and effectively using both formative and summative evaluation is essential for improving student learning and achieving educational success. By recognizing the value and purpose of both type of evaluations, teachers can create a more dynamic and responsive educational environment that supports students' growth and achievement. Continuous professional development and reflection on assessment practices are key to mastering these evaluation techniques.